today we're going to talk about Yerba Buena Cemetery. Um, I wrote about this on the blog. It was the first cemetery post, and then I wrote about City Cemetery, and I got all fucking carried away and I did a video about it, and I never did a video about Yerba Buena, which is not fair. So Yerba Buena, this is your day. Yerba Buena was the first municipal burial ground. That means it was owned and operated by the city of San Francisco and anyone could be buried there. It wasn't the first burial ground. That was at, as far as I can tell, Mission Dolores. That was a churchyard that was associated with the mission with the Catholic church there. Um, but Yerba Buena, which was located in what is now Civic Center, was a place where anyone could be buried. And in fact, if you were poor and couldn't afford a burial, that is where the city would bury you. It was also the city's potter's field. Um, so Yerba Buena was started in 1850. And um, like I said, it was in Civic Center. Uh, here is the map. You can see it's on this little triangle of land. It was triangular shaped between Larkin, uh, Market, and something else. I can't remember off the top of my head. We'll show you on the video. But it's a triangular shape of land a triangular piece of land, and that is where the cemetery was located. What is there now is the Asian Art Museum and the San Francisco Public Library. Um, but in 1850, it was Yerba Buena, and it was not nice. You know, kind of like Civic Center now, right? Uh, the <laughs> Civic Center is fine, okay? All right. Uh, don't go in that garage. Um, Yerba Buena was kind of run down. It was uh, not very well maintained. It was in this area of the city where the topsoil was sandy. Remember, Civic Center in 1850 was not that far from the water, right? I mean, south of Market, you know, Market Street just a block away. That was infill. That was swampland. So the soil there is not great, and when it gets dry and windy, it would blow off and expose the coffins. Yeah. Okay, it kind of got like a city cemetery vibe there, right? It's not nice. It's not great. And um, around 1860, the city decides they need that land for the living, right? San Francisco is steadily expanding into its territory towards the ocean. It is moving westward, and... Now, Civic Center is in kind of the center of town, and they want that land. So uh, they decide to move Yerba Buena. And what they did was they raised in 1860, so not very long, right? It was only open for 10 years. Um, I think they technically started moving it in the late 1860s, early 1870s. So it really was not open for that long. Um, but they decided they were going to move it. And they raised a bond, they raised a $10,000 bond, which the newspapers at the time said is not nearly enough money to move all these bodies. There were seven to 8,000 bodies there, as best they can guess today. Um, all these records were lost in 1906. So in 1906, the earthquake, uh, this town burned down and most of the records were lost. So we don't actually know how many people were buried there, but the numbers that I have seen put it at seven to 8,000 people, which again is a lot, right? It was a little bit for 10 years. Um, but they, you know, they, they moved them. They moved some of them. You guys, there's a pattern here, right? We'll get to that in a minute. But they moved, as best we can tell from the records, 4,000 people out to City Cemetery. Okay, so, um, seven to 8,000 minus 4,000, that's three to 4,000 people that are unaccounted for. Now, some of this could be bad record keeping. Some of this could be that the estimates were off, but we do know for sure that they left a bunch of them behind. And how we know is because every time they do work on that parcel of land, they find bodies, right? This is just, it sounds kind of familiar, doesn't it? It's going to get worse. Just stay tuned to this series. It's going to keep going. So they find bodies and coffins and all kinds of stuff every time they sink a shovel on that little triangle of land. And so this started in 1889 when they wanted to build City Hall on that piece of land. 
Now, right now, City Hall is across the plaza. City Hall is on Polk Street, right? There's Polk Street, there's a plaza, a park, and then there's Larkin Street. Um, at the time, City Hall was on Larkin, and in, that was 1889. They went to build the City Hall there. Uh, it was destroyed, damaged, not destroyed, pretty heavily damaged in the 1906 earthquake. And that's when they decided to build a new City Hall uh, across the way. Um, but when they went to build this City Hall in 1889, they found 70 bodies. Yeah, okay, they found them right there. And again, this wasn't that long ago, 1889. These people were buried in the 1850s, 1860s. These are not old bodies, right? They're kind of fresh, just like Legion of Honor and uh, City Cemetery, right? Kind of sounds familiar. So uh, I don't know what they did with those bodies. I assume they probably reburied them out at City, which was still operational in 1889. Um, but the fun didn't stop there. Uh, in 1908, they went to build the library, to make ground for the library on that site. And they found 16 bodies. 16 doesn't seem like that many, except when you realize that they just pulled 70 fucking bodies out of there 20 years earlier, right? So 16. And um, the story from the Chronicle that I read about this is a little harrowing. At the time, they took the um, bones, the remains, and they were going to give them to the medical examiner, the coroner. Um, they stored them in a box and someone stole the skulls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they speculate that it was medical students. Do I look cross-eyed when I do this? I was cross-eyed as a child. Um, uh, <laughs> stole the skulls, skulls were gone. So, um, I mean, do no harm you guys, right? I guess back at the time they didn't have access to cadavers but uh, someone stole the skulls. And is it, if it's starting to feel like maybe this like parcel of land might be fucking haunted because of all this, I think that's a fair assumption. So uh, fast forward to 1934, they're doing more work on the site. And this time they uncovered a bunch of interesting shit. It was coffins, like plain, they said pine and redwood coffins. Um, money, which I thought was interesting. I was wondering, is it, like somebody buried with their hoard, or like did they have the coins on their eyes, right? To cross the river Styx for the ferryman? That's the thing people used to do, right? I don't know, maybe. Um, they also found remains, right? So uh, that, that was 1934. And then in 2001, they went onto the site to build the Asian Art Museum. And when they did this, they were renovating buildings. I think the public library kind of bounced around between a couple of buildings, but you know, it's right on that triangular piece of land where Yerba Buena was. They found 97 bodies during that construction. Okay, so this is 2001. It's kind of like we talked about with Legion of Honor. They had to do something with those remains. They couldn't let the skulls get stolen or, you know, whatever. They can't put them in a box and in a closet and forget about them. Um, those people were sent to Cypress Lawn, um, which we also talked about in the last video. Remember, Cypress Lawn that I kept confusing with Sky Lawn. No, hold on. Excuse me. I'm fucked up. I have these cemeteries mixed up. Everybody's got a lawn in their name now, right? And there are some reasons for that. I'm not gonna get into it in this video, but lawn cemeteries are a fucking thing. Just, we'll talk about it. Um, but they went to Cypress Lawn, where there is a large Pioneers monument. Um, that is in Colma. Okay, they went there. Um, so at least they were decently reinterred. Um, Rose Pack, who you may remember, who was a very influential Chinese American activist and kind of kingmaker in San Francisco, she said, you better fucking do something for those people. I am not setting foot in this museum until you hold a ceremony, burn some incense, say some prayers, do something. Because you just disrupted the resting place of 97 fucking people. And I feel like, yeah, yeah, good call, right? I don't know. Is the Asian Art Museum haunted? You tell me. It's been a while since I've been in there because... I haven't been inside anywhere in a year, but uh, I don't know. If you have some Asian art museum ghost stories, you need to tell me, or library stories. Really? Um, here comes my dog. 
So we're starting to see a pattern, right? That's right. Uh, here in San Francisco, we will make you a cemetery and then move it 10 or 20 years later. That happened three separate fucking times. Actually, it happened more than that. It happened many, many times, right? It started with Yerba Buena. Yerba Buena was the first one. They put these people in an area that they thought no one would want. And as the city exploded in growth, it turned out they needed that land. So they moved them out to the coast, out to city cemetery. Um, they shut that thing down, as we know. They said they moved the people, but they didn't. It's probably better that way. They're still there, uh, including some of the people who lived in Yerba Buena, right? Lived. <laughs> they didn't fucking live there. They were buried there. Uh, and then the next video, we are going to talk about the big four, which were the large, four large private cemeteries that were in the center of town, Lone Mountain, right where USF is now, in Richmond. Uh, and they moved them too. They also were only there for 20 or 30 years before the city said, get the fuck out of here. We want to build some apartments. So um, anyway, this is, Yerba Buena is just kind of the first, the first instance of this. And I think this is actually the stories of Yerba Buena I think are how I first learned about this cemetery situation in San Francisco. I remember hearing about the bodies being uncovered there. That's something that would catch my attention on the news, right? Yeah. And um, I think that's how I first learned. And, and maybe that's how a lot of people um, are finding out that history of the city is because of these kind of gruesome discoveries that make the paper um, afterwards, right? 100 years later that they find. So anyway, stay tuned for the next one. Stay healthy. Talk to you guys soon.